What if I told you that a lot of what you believe about food is a lie? And if you don't know what this lie is, it could be stopping you from reaching your full potential, stopping you from achieving your goal, and even be making you sick. What I'm gonna do is give you the knowledge to make better decisions so that you can avoid these things that you're probably falling victim to. After this video, you will have a cheat code to operate to your full potential and take your life to the next level. I'll also answer questions like, was the food pyramid a complete lie. Why did game changers lie about the vegetarian diet? And why did sugar companies pay off Harvard professors to lie about cholesterol being the cause of heart disease? Let's start with the food pyramid. For years, it was the gold standard of nutritional advice, plastered across schools, health offices, and public campaigns. But was it based on science or something else? The food pyramid was introduced in the 1970s and it encouraged us to load up on carbs and limit the amount of fats that we eat. At its base, bread, pasta, and grains. And at the top, fats and oils. Implying that these were the villains. But was it in our best interest? The reality is, the food pyramid was shaped by political pressure and the influence of the food industry rather than by science. Powerful lobbyists from the grain and sugar industries had a vested interest in making sure that their products were at the base of our diets. And as a result of this, we were told to consume more carbs, even though the science behind this was weak and in many cases false. Now let's fast forward to more recent times. The documentary Game Changers made waves promoting the fact that a plant-based diet was the best for strength, health, and longevity. They presented athletes, bodybuilders, and even medical professionals who claimed that ditching meat was the secret to their success. But there's something way more sinister going on here. Much of what they presented was either exaggerated or a complete lie. And secondly, none of the benefits of meat were display not once let's go over some of these lies plant protein is as effective as animal protein for building muscle a lot of plant protein is not bioavailable to humans gladiators ate mainly plants because they were treated like slaves strong pro athletes don't eat red meat yes they do cows are just the middlemen you should go straight to the source so we should start eating grass plants have beneficial antioxidants a lot of them are also very harmful plants and vegetables are nutrient dense superfoods and they should be the base of any healthy diet meat is more nutrient dense than any plant. And to top this all off, just a fun fact, most vegans revert back to eating meat due to health issues. The list of these lies goes on, but it gets even worse. Some of the producers, funders, and main characters had economic ties to companies whose core products were plant-based foods. This is exactly the same thing that happened in the 1960s. However, the thing that happened in the 1960s was on a grander scale and even more sinister. Let me explain. This is one of the biggest scandals in nutritional science, the Harvard Sugar Study. Back in the 1960s, it was widely believed that dietary fat, namely cholesterol, was the the main cause of heart disease. But how did we get to this conclusion? Turns out Harvard researchers were paid off by the sugar companies to shift the blame from sugar to fat. Instead of looking at the effect of sugar on heart disease, they pointed the finger at cholesterol. This led to decades of advice telling us to avoid things like butter, eggs, and meat, while sugar took a backseat. So what was the result of this? We essentially replaced healthy fats with sugar-laden products. And what did this lead to? A skyrocketing increase in obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. It's these types of lies that are disgusting and a complete misuse of power that have caused and are causing thousands of deaths every single year. These are just a few more lies that have been fed to us about nutrition. I'm not going to go into detail because that would take all day. I'll cover them briefly. High levels of cholesterol cause heart disease. They've completely ignored whether the study group have good metabolic health and insulin sensitivity. When they do this, they realize that LDL can actually be preventative when it comes to heart disease. Michaela Peterson's TED talk was taken down from YouTube where she spoke about her meat diet and how it reversed her autoimmune disease and lifted her depression. Blue zones, which are areas around the world which have the highest percentages of centurions, eat diets that are based heavily on animal products. But Netflix has lied about this fact. And finally, why are the food companies in the US whose core foundation of their products are refined sugars, processed carbs, why are they the ones that are donating the most to nutritional studies? So what has the result of this misinformation been on society? We're now living in a world where obesity rates have tripled since the 1970s. Heart rate remains to be the leading cause of death. And millions of people are struggling with chronic diseases like diabetes, inflammation, and metabolic syndrome. 
and much of this can be traced back to poor nutritional advice based on corporate interest, not health. The obsession with low fat, high carb diets has led to many of us constantly hungry, over consuming and entrapping cycles of weight gain and weight loss. We've been steered towards food which is loaded with refined sugars, processed carbs and vegetable oils. While being told to avoid the very fats that are essential in energy, hormone production and brain function. Why? Because there is an agenda. Four of the five biggest companies in the US are medical related. And on top of that, agriculture, food and related industries contribute to 1.53 trillion dollars in terms of GDP in the US. So what's actually happening here? Food companies are selling food. People get sick, they need medical attention. It makes the medical companies rich. It's a feedback loop that is exploiting the population for wealth creation and control, period. It's that simple and it's disgusting. It's killing thousands and thousands of people every single year. Now you may be thinking, I'm healthy and I don't eat lots of refined sugars or processed carbs. And you know what, that's fine, you, you could be. But from my experience, I was eating extremely healthily before. I wasn't really eating beef. I was eating lots of rice, eating lots of vegetables. I was going to the gym, I wasn't smoking. But after using what I'm about to tell you now, I felt even better. More energy, better focus, better memory recall, better sleep, less inflammation, no afternoon crash, and in general, a much better mood. So what can you actually do? Number one, don't be scared of red meat. It does not cause cancer and it is a superfood. Now you may be thinking, well, there are lots of studies that prove that it actually is bad for you and it does cause cancer. Let me tell you how they do these studies. They take a group of people and they say to them, do you eat Eat red meat and they could say yes I do and immediately what they do is they say this person eats red meat they track that person over a period of years and then if that person has health issues down the line they attribute it to the fact that they eat red meat so you see how ridiculous this is they could be drinking they could be smoking they could be eating red meat from McDonald's but the fact that they tick red meat is the fact that they have maybe a heart issue down the line it's the fact that they maybe get diabetes is the fact that they maybe get cancer down the line and that's attributed to red meat number two eggs are a superfood thinking that the cholesterol in eggs contribute towards heart disease is false number three processed carbs refined sugars and grains examples of these breads pizza pasta oats rice candies all of these cause inflammation in the body and in the brain and the microbacteria that break Break down these foods in your stomach release chemicals and these chemicals are responsible for negatively impacting your mental health. They can cause issues like mental fog, lack of focus, depression and memory recall. And finally people are more dumb and more depressed than they've ever been and they have less energy and it comes down to the food that they are eating. Make better decisions when it comes to what you eat. Don't be a sheep and believe the lies that you've been told for years.